Have you ever found yourself in a relatable situation like this one? There's three of us, but only one egg. Why, that happened to me just this morning at my local egg gathering. You'd think there'd be more eggs at a place like that, really. Following the likes of 5 Minute Crafts and Troom Troom, Wahoo, which appears to just be an offshoot of Troom Troom anyway, is a content farm that makes, among other things, life hack videos. Let's have a look at some of them, shall we? Do your snacks keep escaping? It's so uncomfortable to eat them from a bag. It is it? Well, what you want to do is curl up the bottom of the bag and place it on the table like you've got a bowl. But what if I can't do that? There is another way out. Thank God. Are you trying to clean something but don't have a vacuum cleaner but do have a hairdryer? Attach the end of a plastic bottle to the back of your hairdryer and you've got yourself a machine that can vaguely slurp in the approximate direction of things you want to clean, sucking up some of the mess and then immediately spraying it out of the other side of the hair dryer. Do you like eating chicken wings at work? Tired of getting grease stains on your papers? Wash your hands. Just kidding. Try eating your chicken wings with a clothes peg. Are you struggling to pick something up off of the ground because you have a cast on your neck? Just get on the floor. Do you want a stylish in-theme outfit for your Christmas party? Why not fill your hair with baubles or toilet paper? but like, you know, in a Christmassy way. Do you want to get looking more presentable but don't have time to go home? Here's how to wash your hair in a public bathroom. First, you want to vaguely drizzle your hair under the tap, but what about shampoo or conditioner? No. Now you want to just dry your wet hair under the hand dryer. The look will really come together as soon as you change camera angles. Hang on, that's a paper towel dispenser. Is brushing your teeth taking too long? Wish you could do it faster? Try jamming four toothbrushes in there. Hey, did you know that you can put food in an ice cube tray to make the food the shape of the ice cube tray? All stores have this issue. The products at eye level are more expensive than the ones on upper and lower shelves. That's useful shopping advice. Well done, with what? Um, you don't need to do that. Just ask a staff member for help. They'll be happy to oblige. The owners aren't out there going, damn, we didn't want her to buy those shoes, but she outsmarted us by being high up. Are you getting to the shops and then struggling to remember everything you need? Try a shopping list. That's it. That's the advice. Do you need a new cheese grater? Don't want to splash out on one of those expensive store-bought ones. Why not cut some holes in a drinks can? You now have a totally functional cheese grater that will definitely never leave shards of metal in your food. It sounds like a dog toy. Uh, but actually, this uh, is the sonorous war cry of a very angry frog. Let's look at some of Woohoo's advice on how to parent your child. Wow, this can only go well. Are you tired of hurting your feet after accidentally stepping on your child's toys? Wear something on your feet. Thank you, Woohoo. I could never have thought of that. Do you want to stab your child? It can be difficult giving any child an injection, but that's really something that's up to your doctor, so I'm not sure what it's doing in the parenting video. You don't need to worry about this. Don't try to inject things into your child. Do you want to get a massage? Who wants to give dad a massage? No one? Try getting your kids to play with their toy cars on your back. This will feel incredibly relaxing. Do you want your kids to stop playing video games and just sit down and read a fucking book? That's because you're old. Then why not limit their access to video games? And then, and this is the clever part, tell them to read a book! Are you trying to convince your kids to read? Hang on, didn't we just do that? Well, then why not tell them that books have candy in them and that if they read all the books, they'll find all the candy. I can't imagine a single child that would realize there's a redundant step here. You don't have to read the words. Did you eat all the candy? No! Sure. I'll use a life hack. I can wrap grapes in candy wrappers. Hey, kiddo, want some candy? Oh. Yeah, enjoy. This is a great. It worked. I feel insulted by your lack of faith in my intelligence. 
This attempt to deceive me has left my trust in you irreparably damaged. You were too young to eat junk food. I know how to outwit her. She won't get any french fries. I'll get some healthy carrots for her instead. I just have to cut it into thin pieces and put it in a box from french fries. Here are your fries. Yet another pitiful and woefully lacking attempt at deceiving me. She bought it. I am under no impression these are french fries and I have only become more jaded. Now she's getting her daily dose of vitamins. I'm opting to eat these simply because I have lost the will to protest. This is cough syrup. I don't want it. <gasps> Just one teaspoon. No, this isn't working. I need to try something else. I'll hide it in a juice box. Sweetie, have some juice. Again, mother? Did you like our life hacks for parents? I mean, they were worth a good laugh. Who ordered a pizza? Come into the living room. Here's your pizza. Oh, thanks. Are you gonna pay? Uh, guys, where is this going? Are you struggling to curl your hair? Fuck it, spray some coke in it. Do you want overnight abs without doing any exercise? What you want to do is sellotape some pencils to the outside of your shirt in an abs pattern. Leave it on overnight and in the morning you definitely won't have six pack abs because this doesn't really work. Wow, how smart of me to figure out that that wouldn't really work. Hello there. Oh, hello, Stuart of the YouTube channel Stewbagful, link in the description. What can I do you for? I have some fascinating life advice for you. Wow, like some kind of life hacks? I can't wait to hear them. I, I, I can't wait to hear them. Did you know that you've been using butter wrong this whole time? You aren't supposed to use a knife to spread butter on toast. Instead, smear the butter directly over your face and absorb the nutrients through the pores in your skin. But Stuart, that's not practical. It is more efficient that way. I don't think that's true, Stuart. To improve your productivity in the workplace, why not set fire to your office chair? But Stuart, that's not ergonomic. Fire has been scientifically proven to release adrenaline in your adrenal glands, which causes you to perform faster. Fire is pretty. I like it when things burn. Instead of using toothpaste, why not use bees? Bees! Bees! I want to make something clear, okay? Woohoo is not a parody. I know it may seem like it at times, but it's not. That does not, however, mean that when they say shit like, Are you lonely? Do you want to make friends out and about? Attach power outlets to your arms, and then everyone who needs to charge their phones will walk next to you, and you'll have loads more friends than some writer working at Woohoo or at their parent company Troom Troom thinks that this would be a genuinely great idea, and it would definitely work. No, nobody thinks this. In fact, that life hack came from a Woohoo video that basically was a parody. Like, intentionally. Occasionally, Woohoo uploads videos like this one called 17 Stupid Life Hacks That We Deserve, or this one called 17 stupid life hacks that we deserve. Those two titles are the same. And these videos are filled with clearly absurd life hacks. Like, use ketchup as a bookmark. Life hacks in these videos are much more conspicuously absurd than life hacks in their other content. Just in case you were wondering, no, the life hacks I've shown in this video were not from one of those videos. Everything from before 5 minutes and 30 seconds was from the type of video I'm about to explain now. At the other end of the scale, they make loads of videos filled with life hacks that seem like they could work. 
Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? You're not actually gonna try and fucking do it, are you? Stuff like, did you know you can freeze an egg and then remove the shell while it's frozen, chop it up, and have loads of mini fried egg segments? I don't know. Doesn't seem completely implausible to me. The thing is, though, they regularly post both vaguely plausible and completely absurd content and all flavors of things in between, with no clear way for the viewer to be able to tell when it stops being parody and starts being genuine. That, of course, is because Woohoo doesn't actually care if you think it's genuine or if you think it's a parody, so long as you're watching it. None of these videos are made with the intention of actually giving good advice. They're trying to make their view count as high as they possibly can so they can make more money. More on that. Here. They leave it up to the viewer to discern whether what they're seeing is sincere or parody, lifting the burden of actually having to think about whether or not this stuff would actually work from the people making the tutorial videos and placing it right back on the viewer. That's their goal and they have achieved it spectacularly. So when we make fun of them, we're not making fun of someone who's doing a bad job at giving advice. Woohoo here have met all of the standards that they are trying to meet. So I ask you now, what are we making fun of here? And when I say we, I mean we, me and my equally successful contemporaries all love to make fun of stuff like this. Just go ahead and chop your hair off in a random place so you can make a brush that is probably much worse than any cheap brush that you can find at a drugstore. <laughs> Brushes, they're just so expensive. They're gonna make a grilled cheese with an iron. <laughs> All right, so you have the ingredients for a grilled cheese, but you don't have a kitchen, but you do have an iron. For anyone who wanted me to drink beans again in this video, this is a coffee. I feel like knowing exactly what you're making fun of and why you're making fun of it is a very important step in making fun of it. So I ask you this, if Troom Troom, Woohoo, Five Minute Crafts, all of those channels have achieved their goals of making vacuous but ultimately harmless just sludge that anyone can watch and consume and rakes in views, then what is it we're making fun of them for? They've not failed. They're doing great. Five Minute Crafts has a YouTube channel that pulls in 160 million views every month. That's more than the combined population of every planet in the solar system except for this one. Woohoo is generating so much revenue that they can probably afford to buy a cheese grater. So if Woohoo already knows that all of this advice is terrible, and you already know that all of this advice is terrible, then what's the point of me and other equally popular YouTubers coming and pointing out to you that all of this advice is terrible? I think you could could have figured that out for yourself. If you're a YouTuber, you can debunk life hacks if you want, but isn't all of that stuff pretty obvious? Like, I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but I mean, is that all we're doing? Finding things that are obviously bad, pointing out that they are bad, and then calling it a day? God, is that my entire YouTube channel and career? Are you considering cutting off a large amount of your hair in order to make a brush? Don't! Are you trying to grill a cheese with an iron? Maybe instead consider using a grill. Are you going to try and grate food using a soda can with holes poked in it? That won't work. Are you going to try and increase your productivity by setting fire to your chair? Don't do that. That's not a practical suggestion. Do these videos need to be insightful though? I mean, you don't need insight to make fun of something, but I'm still not sure what we're making fun of the something for. Well, Woohoo haven't failed at anything, so to speak, but perhaps what we're making fun of is the absurdity that we live in an environment where this isn't failure. This is what success looks like. Telling people to dry their hair under a fucking paper towel dispenser. Congratulations, here's a million dollars a year. Woohoo may not have failed in the goals that it set out to achieve, but it is still a symptom of the society that created it. We're the culture that watches this stuff so much that not only is this a viable business model, this is a business model that is thriving. This is a business model that's created some of the most successful channels on YouTube. Man, what the fuck? The fact that this stuff not only exists but represents an incredibly valuable industry is, in my opinion at least, absurd enough in and of itself to constitute mockery of the content. We're not mocking it because it's failed at anything. It knows it's absurd, but that still doesn't mean we're laughing with it rather than at it. It sounds like a dog toy. But actually, this 
Bats is the sonorous war cry of a very angry frog. A few years ago now, this clip went viral, and we all had a good laugh at it. It's a very funny sounding frog. When we laugh at it though, we're not judging it to be a failure. We don't think it's failed at anything. It has its own goals that as far as everyone laughing at it knows, it has achieved. It's just a funny noise. Ah! Woohoo may not have failed by any of its own standards, but we can still apply our own and make fun of it for not meeting those. If they want to blur the line between parody and sincerity because that's what makes them the most money, then we can still laugh at what they come out with. We just need to make sure that when we're mocking it, we never pretend that this was made by someone who was definitely 100% being sincere. Of course, the better your understanding of the thing you're mocking, what it is, why it exists, and the intent behind it, the better equipped you'll be to do a good job making fun of it. But that's not a prerequisite. As long as you don't make incorrect assumptions about the content, you don't need to know all the ins and outs to have a good laugh about it. When I'm watching PewDiePie and Jarvis's videos, I don't personally get the impression that they've put that much thought into that kind of stuff. This is real. It's a satire. I can't tell. But I still laugh the whole way through. Okay, it's a Coca-Cola Fanta and Sprite dispenser. How did it, how did it work? Uh, yeah, that happens all the time. Jesus. Who would need this? Is this like some sort of survivor situation? Papa's gotta eat. What are you doing? Um, living off the land. You know you could just pull the tab, right? Can you turn the light back off? Links for both these videos are of course in the description. You know, in case you hadn't heard of these two, when I first started work on this video, I was exploring this idea for myself. I didn't have a foregone conclusion in mind and I wanted to think about this stuff. I was just as ready to conclude that making fun of Lifehacks content is pointless and stupid when they intentionally blur the line between parody and sincerity as I was to conclude that this stuff is worth making. But having given it the thought that you've seen presented here today, I'm gonna carry on making Lifehack videos and I hope other YouTubers do the same. The fact that these channels are meeting all of their own standards doesn't mean there's not still a plethora of reasons to make fun of them. Especially when the shit they recommend is a fucking fire hazard. Don't do this one, your house might burn down.